In OS4 for Virus TI, we have six new distortion types modeled on classic guitar stomp boxes, each of which was chosen for its distinctive character. Now I'm going to play this arpeggiator patch. And I'll run that through each of these pedals to give you an idea of how they sound. The first one is called Mint Overdrive. Now you'll notice that the treble boost parameter has now changed to tone. And uh, that's because we've modeled this after the tone control on the original pedal. So we use the drive control here to determine the amount of scream you want from your tube, as it were. And the tone control to soften it. The next one we've called Curry, and here we've removed the tone control because the original didn't feature one either. Uh, next we've got the orange one, or Saffron as we've called it. And the tone control is now bipolar. So we've got a low pass filter to the left and a high pass filter to the right. And we've got a similar scheme for uh, the onion overdrive. Next we've got uh, Pepper. And here the tone control is more uh, just a low pass filter. Um, we've still got the high cut as well here, which is also a low pass filter, but the difference here is that the tone has been scaled to model exactly uh, the tone control on the original. And lastly we have the uh, lovely Chili Overdrive. Again, with no tone control, you just get uh, a nice in-your-face fuzz sort of distortion, if you get what I mean. Now, to complement all of these great new distortions, we've also included a brand new character type, and this is called Speaker Cabinet. And this effect is really very useful, as it not only helps to make a more authentic guitar amp sound, like this. But you can also use it for uh, fine-tuning the overall frequency response of a sound, which can really help uh, get it to sit in the mix properly. And basically, the controls that we have here are uh, spectral balance, and here the uh, frequency of the mid-range peak. And uh, it can help to make it sound a little more authentic if you apply a little bit of uh, high-end roll-off as well, which you can use the high cuff uh, parameter here in the distortion section. <laughs> So what we have here is a really versatile and useful effect, but the beauty of it is it's really simple and really intuitive to use. Uh, I'm finding that practically every sound that I make at the moment, I run through this effect because I know that there's a good chance there's a sweet spot in there for it somewhere.